up guys, it's Kira again, as always. It's always me, sorry. <laughs> We're here talking volleyball as per usual. And again, I've got another interview for you guys. This week, we, we, I, just me. <laughs> I sat down with a setter from Terreville. Her name is Margot Buzanek. I hope I've pronounced that right. And we talked about all things life, volleyball, and juggling. So I hope you enjoy the interview. Here it is. I am here today with Margo. She plays in Terville, and we have a match tomorrow against each other. <laughs> but tonight we can be friends. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask you a couple of questions okay. about your life as a professional volleyball player. Okay. What is your favorite part about playing professional volleyball? My favorite part is to meet like like something like this. Meet a lot of players who came from different countries, and I love to ask them a little bit of languages, like how to say salut in your language. Like Nastya, she's Russian, mm -hmm. so I like to kind of stuff like that. To meet lots of people, yeah, and have lots yeah. of interesting interactions. Yeah, yeah, cool. What do you do in your free time when you're not playing volleyball? Um, most of the time, I'm on the phone with my family <laughs> and rest and Netflix. <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> and yeah, most of the time, on the phone with my friends and family. Mm -hmm. Keeping in touch with yeah. them. Do you have any hidden talents other than playing volleyball? No. <laughs> Maybe like some circus, like I love to. Ah, you can juggle? Yes. Oh, that is so cool! Three and four. I'm gonna have to get you to yeah. show me afterwards <laughs> so I can put it on film. Okay. Cool, juggling, um, awesome. Yeah, I would say this. <laughs> Very cool, I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Who is your idol or your favorite volleyball player? So, as a setter, as a young, I uh, would say Maya Ognenovic, the Serbian setter, because she's strong, she's a, she has a strong character, and I love her too, like the way she plays. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any tips for younger players who might want to go pro one day? Don't be afraid to make sacrifice and to be strong in your head to every time keep your goal and to improve your skills because like this you will have more experience and don't be afraid, it will be okay. <laughs> don't be afraid and <laughs> go for it. Always try to improve. That's really good. That's really good advice for players even just beginning one year into it or 10 years later if you're always trying to learn and improve, you're going to be the best version of yourself today. For sure. Good one. Do you have any tips for being a good setter? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> for me, it's intelligence. You play for your team, okay, but you play against the middle in front of you. <laughs> See you tomorrow. I yeah, know. yeah, I know. Now I have to, I have to try and wrap your brain for yeah. some, some so tactics. You have a game in, against the team, but you have also a little game for me, each, each game against for the middle. So for me, it's intelligence of the way you play. And after, it's to be funny and to be like with your spiker. I don't like the so much the setter, like they are like, oh, I said you, you made mistake, or oh, you're and I will not play with you anymore. So no, me, I'm not like this. Okay, you make a mistake, I check your hand, and we will do this together. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. To have patience, mm -hmm. and the basis of being a good teammate is putting the team first, mm -hmm. and, and having your teammates back, for sure, not just thinking about how I look mm -hmm. good, and if, mm -hmm. if you make And it even more as a setter. Yeah, because you sure. touch every ball, and yeah. you're with every spiker, and so yeah, definitely. So, a last question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to play in any other countries before you end your career or you have some aspirations? Yeah, it's not a problem for me now I'm 23. I play only in France and I okay. start from this uh, young team, France Avenir, and after I play in Béziers, Cannes, Évreux, and I, now I'm not there. So you had a long career mm -hmm. in France? Yes. Mm -hmm. So before maybe it was a little bit, pro not a problem, but I want to stay here with my family. And, but now I think I can, I can. Yeah, mm. cool. I'm ready. You're ready to try a new adventure? <laughs> yeah. Awesome! Cool, well thank you so much for sitting down with me and having thank this interview. <laughs> this was good, this was fun. Thank you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> yes, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Who knew a volleyball player was all, could also be a juggler? What an awesome talent. I really enjoyed this interview and I hope you guys did too. And I'm gonna try and sit down with more players. Every time we have a match, there's usually someone that I can just grab and say, hey, let's do a quick interview. And I think it's really, it's interesting. For me, it's interesting. I hope it's kind of cool for you guys too to just see what goes on in the minds and lives of professional volleyball players. So stick around for more of that. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, please do subscribe. I would really love to have you here. And until next time, 